Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Call to Action module. So before we dive into the tutorial, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Divi, I highly recommend picking it up. And if you want to get it, you can get at least 10% off your purchase by using the link below, WPWithTom.com slash Divi. I also wanted to mention that I'll be posting videos covering every Divi module on my channel here, so be sure to subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. And with this quick intro out of the way, let's dive into the basics of the Divi Call to Action module. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is add a row to this section here to get started with the module. So I'm just going to click on a plus here, and then I'll just click regular. And then from here, I'll just add a row. And it's a single row like that. And here I'll just go and add in the call to action module to get started. So by default, we have this area right here where it's this box that's not full width. And I want it to be a full width call to action. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go and edit the actual full section here. So right here, if you hover over it, you can go and click on this section settings background and you can change the background for the full section so i actually have orange all over the site this is a pre-made layout pack that comes in divi so i'm going to go and grab the hex code color for that and then i'm just going to go and paste it in so if i go and click in here add background color i can go and just paste in or change the color on the color picker to get the right color for our site so once i've done that i'm actually going to go over to where it says design dividers and I'm going to add a divider in at the top to give it a little bit more style and here I'll just add in a random one let's just go with this one right here so now we have this white section above going down now we're going to need to edit this so let's dive into how to actually edit this section here next so if I go over I'll just click and save this and then if we click in here we can see that we have the option to either edit within it or edit the actual row itself so I'm going to go and just click here to edit within and I'll go and first go to where it says the background right here. And that's this color that's showing right here in the background. And then I'll just go and make that transparent. So now we've gotten rid of the background color that we had there. And now we have orange that matches our site a little bit more with this call to action section with a full width orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where it says text. And if you want to change this text here, you can. So an example of text might be something like turn your traffic into loyal customers. And then I'm going to go and click here, or maybe I'll make it say like learn how or learn more would be good for the actual button itself. And then you actually can't see the button right now, but that's okay. Then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to delete this text out of here. So within this area, it says a link. This is where you'd have to put your button link URL. So let's say you wanted to go to a different page on your site. I can make it go to tomswebsites.com slash contact or something like that. And that could be the button URL. I'm just going to put google.com in this case. And right when you type that in, you see that our button shows up on the page. And this is how it looks by default. So you can choose to open it in the same window or open it in a new tab right here. I'm going to just go and make it open in a new tab just to show you how it looks. And then I'm going to go down here. If you want to edit the background in here, you can. I'm going to go over to where it says design though and start editing this a little bit. So by default, we can see our text alignment is to the center. If you want to, you can align it to left, right, center, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it in the center and I'm going to leave it as light. And I'm going to go down to where it says title text. And here I'm going to just change things a little bit. So I'm just going to make it semi bold. I want it to pop a little bit more than it does. And I'm going to also go and make it a larger font. So let's go and make it like 42 pixels. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go back over to here and just say add an exclamation point. So if we go back over to design here, we can see that the body text, we have nothing because I deleted that out. I just wanted to say turn your traffic into loyal customers learn how just a quick call to action but powerful and it grabs the user's attention when they're looking at the site so the next thing we can do is go down to where it says button we can choose the alignment i'm going to leave it aligned center and i'm going to choose custom styles so that gives us different options that we can use on here 
So if you want to, you can go and just make the text orange as an example. Maybe I would add the hex code color in that we used before. So let me go and grab that. And then I'll paste that in right here. So it's going to be hard to see when we do that. I'm going to just paste it in again. And now you can't actually even see it until you hover over. So what we're going to need to do down here is go to the button background color. I'm going to go and make that white. So here the button border width. I actually don't want a border width around it. So I'm going to go and make that zero. It's kind of hard to see, but with certain colors you can see it more. And if you wanted to, you can turn off the button icon. So right here when you hover over it, it gives this arrow like that. You can choose to have that on or off. You actually can choose a wide variety of icons if you want to add one. I'm just going to have that toggled off. And now we have the button like that. And another thing I'm going to do is go down here to the bottom and go to animation. And I'll make this one say slide right here so it slides in like that. I think it looks pretty good overall, but maybe I want to change the spacing a little bit, give it a little more space. If I go to where it says spacing, I'm going to go to padding top and let's just add 100 and see how that looks. You can see it pushes it down. I think that looks a little bit better just like that. So let me go and save it. And then to make it go into effect, we're going to need to go and save right here. And now our button is done. So that about wraps up the basics of how to use this Divi call to action module here. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more Divi and WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a good one.